Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we are checking out something a little different. I, uh, so for those who don't know, even though it's like pretty obvious on the channel, I am really into all button controllers or leverless as they're sometimes called. The thing is like, I mostly use those for fighting games. And then of course, like sometimes I'll dip into other things like platformers and whatnot. It's very rare that I fiddle around with shmups because it's either like stick or d-pad when I play shmups but that being said I have meant to get around to uh, like experimenting a little more and just getting more accustomed so there are a couple things that I will touch on before we get too far into this I'm not I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be touching on the run very much but I did decide just last night I thought you know what why not just do something simple like a, a novice mode clear in Mushihime Sama and just see how that goes and it was maybe I did maybe two or three and I was taking a first hit to the stage three boss like the final attack and I thought you know what if I just allow myself to bomb instead I can probably just cruise through the whole run and so today when I booted up it was that was exactly how it went um We'll get into the details of what happens and all that kind of stuff when we get there. I, I'll, I'll mention a few things as we uh, see the different things happening and whatnot. But for the most part, and this is going to more or less be just about the experience of using an all-button controller uh, for something like this. Now, right from the, the start, I always knew that controlling a shmup with that kind of controller would be extremely different and completely unintuitive feeling compared to something like a fighting game. Like, for instance, when I started using these controllers for fighting games, and that was when I started using the controllers in general, it was maybe about two days where I, I had, like, some questions for friends about, like, posi like hand finger position, like, that kind of stuff. Uh, but for the most part, two days later, I was completely comfortable controlling characters in fighting games. Like, there was no... There, there was nothing unintuitive about it at that point. It just felt natural and right. And I, I absolutely love that kind of controller for fighting games specifically. They just feel incredible to, to use and to be on and playing with and all that. But yeah, so the thing with shmups though is that it's a very different kind of movement because you have this space and you're all like... It, it's not that there aren't exceptions but for the most part in a shmup you're not necessarily doing these like precise inputs a lot of it is constant movement followed by more constant movement like sure you do things like tap dodging where you're not moving so much and in that sense it's very precise inputs of like set amounts and things like that but for the most part there is just a lot more constant motion happening in a shmup compared to the type of constant motion you would have in a fighting game like it's it's i'm not sure how else to really articulate it like it makes sense to me and it certainly translates to a completely different experience and a more challenging feeling experience in a shmup and so you might be looking at this and be like okay yeah he's like controlling it like pretty well but for the most part my my strategy because the movement feels so wonky to me. I'm not that experienced with shmups at this point when it comes to being on this kind of controller. So it may look fluid at times or that I'm like really staying on top of everything, but it's just because I'm using like a simple strategy of like as much swaying back and forth to just keep things off the screen. And then if I really need to tap dodge in between something, that, that kind of stuff is pretty simple because it's just like left or right. Um, but in terms of going up the screen to get like an item, sometimes we might see in, in this gameplay or just different times if I'm going up for like score points, you might see me just kind of wobble and just wonky movement that doesn't look like it, sh like it needs to be happening. And that's just because it's, yeah, still very new to me playing shmups with these. So... I think one thing, what's interesting is that when I started 
playing fighting games. I'm going to relate it to fighting games. Like, just in, in terms of sharing my my adjustment story. Like, I think the first day or so, especially, of being on a controller like this for fighting games, the, the jump button, that was the thing that was giving me the most trouble. Like, it didn't make sense. And, of course, if you're familiar with these controllers, you're going to know, like... It's at the bottom and it's not like at the top. It, like it's just, it's kind of backwards in a sense. So what I did at that time was I just said, okay, I'm just not gonna play with jumping. I'm just not going to need to jump. I'm just not going to use that uh, at all. And what I found was that I instantly was playing just fine. Like it didn't matter what fighting game I was in. I wasn't jumping and it was like, okay, cool. I like there's no problem like I can control this game perfectly as if I've been playing it forever and what I noticed that it was that when I needed to start doing jump or up buttons for like certain combos or whatever the case is that just naturally came in out of nowhere and I'm sure not everyone is going to have that kind of experience but for me like I said it was like a two-day process and after that it was just like wow this thing is smooth fluid like it just makes sense now so, well, the tricky thing with the sh like with playing shmups though, is that it's not just a tap, like whether you're jumping diagonally in a fighting game or just straight up or whatever. In this, the up is like a like a full press, like you're holding it down to move up while you're changing diagonals. And of course, it's never just like a static direction. Like sometimes, sure, like you might have where you're going on like a, a strict angle but for the most part you're doing all of these like curving constantly curving motions like all over the place like it's it's always like this thing that's constantly being adjusted to get you where you need to be or to avoid projectiles and all of these types of things and i think that's what that's part of what just really adds to the challenge of controlling a shmup with a controller like this and it's also part of what I find incredibly, incredibly interesting. It's it's very rewarding. It's very different, and I just I love the challenge because it's so foreign to me. But there's just something exciting about being able to control within a game. Like for okay, like I'll rewind for a second. We all know that shmups have certain demands within the game, like the 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 like the limitations based on like the mechanics and like just the framework more or less that's what i'm getting at here and so in addition to that there's when you bring something like an all button controller into the mix there's this whole other layer of difficulty like unless you've been on these controllers for the longest time and like you're you totally just have a way with them uh for shmups like i'm sure some people do like i know some of my buddies Oh, that's like what they use to play and they have a lot more experience because they also just play a ton of other games with these types of controllers so playing on shmups is kind of just like an extension of that but for someone who's kind of jumping in to shmups with these controllers for the first time it's a whole other it's a whole other story compared to any other kind of input device i've ever used and it's a it's a wild time like there's something exhilarating just plunging into this experience and and so like yeah for instance I'll I'll talk about the run a little bit here like the the section we just finished I think I used two bombs there and it was because oh by the way like this I haven't played Mushi in ages so it's not like this is based on any sort of like learning that I've done like I barely remember what the attacks are going to be when they come out so I used two bombs during that last section because I really wanted to ensure that I didn't take a hit there and I just wanted to get that extra life so I was thinking okay better safe than sorry so yeah that's kind of like just a little bit about the lack of knowledge and awareness for what you will see in here but one thing I will say is that uh, I don't take any hits until the final boss, so 
it, it, it's and I think that's what's great about novice mode is and Mushi Hime Sama in general I think it's enough of a challenge as a game but it's also very generous with resources and space to move and you can clearly see what's coming at you and like it just has like a lot of room to work with for all sorts of different aspects so it's a great uh, I, I to me it just felt like a great option if i was going to jump in for a quick clear just to see how how things felt and just to share my thoughts on the experience and whatnot so so I think what I'll do now, that's just like a, a bit of like the, the nutshell story. There's a lot more to why there's an emphasis on controllers. I'm, I'm not sure if I will actually do a full video on that sort of thing. What I've started doing recently is uh, Monday posts. I, my, my website is pretty much nearing completion at this point, and so I've started banging out a post each Monday just to like type something up and uh, I've, I'm really enjoying that I, I find that to be a, a, a great little outlet that kind of frees up some of the ideas I think in the past because I was only focused on videos it was always a matter of like oh how do I turn this into a video because like I want it to be worthwhile for everybody and not just like a two minute whatever but if I'm doing some writing, that kind of frees things up in ways because then I can just share different ideas without it having to be this huge thing. Because like the Monday posts, there may be like five to six hundred words, nothing too crazy. But I think I might get into the whole like why I'm focusing quite a bit on controllers these days. And I know I've touched on this with certain people who have already asked in like comments of certain videos and that kind of stuff but yeah it's something I will definitely get into and it's an exciting thing and it's something I didn't even expect would be uh, panning out as it has but I just found myself in a, uh, a situation where yeah the floodgates have opened and <laughs> I'm just like I'm going with it and it's fantastic so anyway back to here i think i if i didn't already I, I i haven't even been paying attention to the the visuals here but i think i use a couple of bombs during this section again just because like nothing is really threatening here if if i was to do it again i would probably be able to just like stay on top of this stuff a lot better but for the most part i was just going for not taking hits at all because with how wonky the movement felt. It's kind of like when you see a deer, like a fawn, like a newborn, and they're attempting to walk for the first time and their legs are just so wobbly and all over the place. That's what it felt like at times. And what's, what's interesting is when I play on, like I've sampled, uh, what is it? Oh, like, I think, I, yeah, I sampled stage four and stage five on ultra mode quite some time ago. And even just yesterday, I did a stage four, or at least like the first chunk of it on ultra. And it's funny because, because there is so, because there, there are so many bullets on the screen, you're automatically swamped. And so you're doing a lot more micro dodging the whole time. And so even though I'm not as experienced with these controllers, I end up performing what looks like a lot better on a mode that's very difficult. And it's just because you're forced to only do tiny movements a lot of the time instead of uh, like novice mode being wide open. And so you can just like sway back and forth wherever you want. So that's another uh, interesting thing that I thought I would just share. Uh, I think I lost track, but um, of what I was gonna say originally. But yeah, like with those uh, long creatures that were like kind of like snaking around, I think uh, what I was getting at during that section was that I just I knew that okay, if I don't if I take hits because I don't bomb and I start losing all these bombs early, then by the time I get to the final boss 
Which, again, like, I have no idea what that is going to throw at me, even on novice mode, because it's been so long. So what is it going to be like when I get there with how I... With how, uh, like, foreign and new this feels to me. That being said, if anyone has an all-button controller and you haven't dipped into shmups yet, like, let's say you're just using it for fighting games or what have you, I definitely encourage you to give a shooter a shot because it, it is a fun time. Like, I, I can see myself... Like, I think... Actually, I know for sure stick is going to be my go-to, especially for specific games. Like, that's the only thing I will use for certain games. But I think more and more, I do want to gradually dip into... Even if it's just Mushi Hime-sama or other games that feel like they would be a nice approachable option just to get more and more experience under my belt and just see what happens because it is a fun time it's a crazy time there are things that you will feel some panic over like just because it's not actually a threat if you had like a d-pad in your hand or a stick like it would be nothing at all but it's uh yeah like i said it's a whole other story when you're on something like this and you're not used to it so Anyway, I think that'll be enough about the controllers for now. I'll just talk about Mushihime Sama a little bit. At this point, during this boss, I really didn't want to have to use my last bomb here. And I was like, okay, well, he's not really doing too much that is a big threat. As long as I just, like, play it safe, I should be good to just keep going. And what I will say is that this... Stage 5 has always felt like one of the easier levels to me. Or at least... And I mean, like, even on original mode. Like, I've cleared original 1.5. That was uh, some years ago. I'm not sure, like, three or four years ago. Who knows? Because this stage is just so... Like, just the design of it, I really enjoy it. There's just a flow that kind of just makes sense. You get into the rhythm right away and... It's just easy to figure out without needing to do much of anything. Like, I know for a lot of people, Stage 3 will be a wall. In a lot of games, even. But in this game, too. But Stage 5 was never like that for me. Even Stage 4. I think Stage 4 was a little more challenging than Stage 5 when I originally cleared, like, the, the, the regular difficulty. But just with the... So yeah, just with like the um, the flow, the pacing of enemies, and like all the bullet cancels, I knew that as long as I didn't need to use my bomb for that mid-boss, I'd probably be able to just cruise through here and have a bomb for the final boss. And like I said earlier in different words, I wasn't sure what to expect really. There goes the bomb, by the way. But I, I just thought to myself, well, you know what? We get some bombs here. We might be able to pull this off as a no-miss. Which, of course, didn't happen. But I think continuing to play this here and there, it wouldn't take much. Like, if we look at all the sections I bombed earlier, it wouldn't take much to actually learn what to do there and just clean that stuff up and then do a no-miss. But whether I actually care about doing a no-miss or not, as opposed to just, let's say, doing an original clear now or something. I'm not sure what I want to do next uh, with this. as Because, like, this stuff is just side project stuff at this point. It's not, like, main game or anything. But, yeah. So, yeah, there's the first hit. And another reason that I encourage others to sample it if they do have a controller or, let's say, you've been considering getting an all-button controller. Just do it, because all it takes is getting some some experience in, and getting some even novice mode clears under your belt, and just putting yourself in that situation where you're, you're doing something new, you're doing something uncomfortable, and like I said, it, this game is generous. Like, I've taken one hit, but I still have oodles of lives and bombs attached to those lives, so... That's the run. I won't have you sit through the 
the whole end story and the credits and all that kind of stuff. So I'll just leave off there for now. This has gone on long enough. But I really appreciate everybody who uh, listened in. Feel free to comment. Let me know what you think if you have experience playing shmups with all button controllers or leverless. And uh, yeah, just in general, feel free to drop your your thoughts and whatnot. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Take care and we will see you next time.